Alright guys, here is my uh, deck profile of my Mega Colony deck. Now this isn't a deck particularly for the current meta. Uh, it's my deck that I built quite a while ago, over a year ago almost. And uh, it's what I love about Mega Colony. This was my favorite deck at the time, and it's still one of my favorite decks, even though uh, I think that there's better cards to run now, and just the, the deck itself is just outdated. So, uh, starting with probably the most outdated card, uh, Medical Battler Ranplit. I know a lot of people are like, you shouldn't run heal triggers, but I feel like this deck just kind of leans towards heal triggers, and it's, it's, they're, they're decent. You probably shouldn't run them in any other deck, though. Uh, next we have four, uh, Sharpen Ale Scorpios and four Shelter Beetles. Crits are just really good in general. I love crits. There's no real reason to run stands in this deck, actually. Just run crits, because crits are amazing. And then, uh, draw triggers. Four draw triggers, because draw triggers help maintain your hand. Simple as that, you know. I, I recommend four draw triggers in each deck. Um, now this starter you may have noticed doesn't have Forerunner. I'm going to actually get into why this starter and all his effects later on when I get to the grade 3s. Um, so next going on, we've got four Machining Hornets. Uh, machining Hornet was pretty much just the best machining at the time, considering that there, that was really the only other option for machining cards for grade 1s at the point. Uh, I still feel like it's actually a good card nowadays, um, just because it gets in a 1,000 power. And a 1,000 power, even if it's only for one turn, can really help being a booster because it hits a magic number of 1,000. And also, at 7,000, it's one of the better boosters in the game in general. Uh, 1,000 booster is, or sorry, a 7,000 booster is pretty good. So, four Machining Mosquitoes. Machining Mosquito is, again, really just there to be a machining. If you don't have a machining in your soul in this deck, or two machinings, I guess you'd say, um, and you'll you'll see why I say that when I go over the grade threes, but you really just want machinings in the soul. The mosquito's effect isn't actually that good itself. I mean, it can be good, but the likelihood of you actually getting it off and it being effective isn't actually that great. And it sucks to throw a trigger in, because you'll never see that thing ever again. So, the actual effect, I generally don't activate, but as a 7k booster, it's really nice. Next, we've got four P-Guards. Do I really need to explain? P-Guards, I mean, they're P-Guards. Uh, and two Mega Colony Battler Bs. Uh, I run two just because I needed more grade 1s, I felt, in the deck. And Battler B is probably one of my favorite grade 1s in Mega Colony. So, he can... He, whenever he is, he, whenever he boosts a unit and the attack hits a vanguard, then he, you can counterblast one and choose an opponent's uh, rested rearguard, and they don't stand next turn. So it really adds a lot of pressure to make sure that your opponent guards. Um, Iron Fist Mutant Roly Poly. Roly Poly is uh, he is not a machining card. This is, as you've probably seen, uh, a machining deck, but. Um, very interesting machining deck because it's not solid machinings like more modern decks are. As a matter of fact, you couldn't run solid machining at the time, and the triggers themselves weren't out for solid machining. But anyways, uh, Roly Poly, I just love Special Interceptors. Solomon will agree with me. Special Interceptors are amazing, in my opinion at least. Um, so, Special Interceptors. Next we've got Machining Mantis. Uh, just another, again, another machining card. Same exact effect as, uh... <laughs> oh gosh, he shot me! Ah! And that is my contribution to this card game with which I know not of. Yeah, so Luminous is here also, but anyways. Um, Mantis is also exactly the same as Hornet, just with 2,000 power and as grade 2. Still just a really good card because he can swing in for 12, which guarantees you an attack on anything that isn't a cross-ridden vanguard. So, at least just by himself, so... And then when swinging in for 22 when you lay down both Mantis and Hornet is super awesome. Because 22, man. Um, 
Machining Armor Beetle is a really good card too. That's why I run him as I run four of him also in my grade two lineup, and that actually completes my grade two lineup. But uh, this card is really interesting. I don't think many machining decks actually run it anymore. The reason I run it is because, well, I ran it, is because this was pretty much the only other machining card, and getting machinings was pretty important in this deck. You'll see why. Um, but basically, whenever you call, whenever you call him to rear guard, you can throw one card into your soul, and then. Um, your opponent's unit won't stand next turn. So, it's super important, super cool, and can really lead to some nice combos. Next we got, uh, four Martial Arts Mutant Master Beetles. These cards, Master Beetle was probably the best grade three, in my opinion. Well, one of the best grade threes. I mean, this and the, net, the other one would be debatable, but, um, yeah, Master Beetle was just awesome, and also I'm going to play a little game with you in the, the crowd, um, which which Master Beetle is an SP? Good, good guess. Probably the one that says SP on it. Did you guess this one? Because that's the one. Can you tell the difference? You can't, I know. <laughs> but, yeah, I almost traded that one to Solomon on accident as a double rare. Would have made, made me super salty if I did. Next we got uh, one Machining Stag Beetle. Uh, you only run one because he's a tech card and, you know, you don't want too many of a tech card. Uh, next you, you run one Machining Stag Beetle because um, I feel like just this format forces... The format that it was in kind of forced a, a, a Machining Stag Beetle to be in every deck. And then uh, you, you run one ma Machining Stag Beetle. Um, that, that's also my final card, but um, yeah. You're on three machining stag beetles simply because uh, that's the entire concept of the deck. He's not very good to keep on Vanguard though. You really just want to ride him and then grab Master Beetle right on top of that. So machining and then beetle on beetle on stag action right there. Yes, Master 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 um, Stag. <laughs> so and that kind of explains. Well, actually, his effect. I should explain it. Uh, when he's placed on Vanguard Circle, you can call two Machining cards from your soul to Rear Guard as rest, and then uh, Machining Stag Beetle gets the power uh, they had. So, basically what you're supposed to do is uh, get two Machinings into your soul. So, say, Machining Hornet and Worker Ant. Then you lay down that, and obviously I know you can't run on grade one, but whatever. Screw it. And then you do that, and then uh, you'd call out those two from your soul, and then Worker Ant's ability would go off, so if you can read that. Uh, what it says is when it's placed on rear guard, I can choose one of my other machining rear guards, and it stands. So I call both of them out, and then stand one of them, and then this guy pretty much stays there. Uh, it also combos really well when you do that with uh, machining Armor Beetle, because you lay that down, and you pop both of them out, and then Worker Ant's ability stands up uh, Armor Beetle, and Armor Beetle's ability throws Worker Ant back in. And then you also, and then your opponent can't attack with something next turn. So ends up being a really good combo because it gets you a lot of power and a lot of handed or uh, a power advantage, I guess you should say, almost forcing a P guard or damage. And then it also gets you two free cards, so that gets you plus two hand advantage. Uh, so. We'll pause it right here and then go to our, our ideal setup for late game. Oh, wasn't 69. Okay, here's the setup. Basically, your late game is still turn three <laughs> with this deck. That's actually kind of funny, but um, that is really late game for this where this get with a, where this deck peaks. Uh, Solomon will even attest. Like we played a game, and I'm not sure if he's going to post it on YouTube or not, but. Uh, I peaked early game, and then it was all downhill from there, and then I just snuck out a win. So, um, but basically you activate Master Beetle's ability, then you go like this and give Master Beetle a ton of power and restand that and like do the combo like I already explained, and then you just punch them as hard as possible. You can uh, call out a card if you want some more power, so like, say I called out this line this turn, this would be 19 power that turn, and this would be... 22 power that this turn so you could effectively start ruining their field just with this turn and stag beetle would is pretty guaranteed to get through unless they p guard it so 
then you can just make a colony battler be them to counterblast one. And this deck isn't really too counterblast heavy, except for the card that you'd then probably, you would hopefully be riding, uh, which is Master Beetle. So this deck is actually kind of like a, a beforehand um, cro uh, break ride. So you basically get this, and then like imagine it's kind of like a break ride effect where you get extra stuff and a ton of power. And then the turn after you kind of die off as opposed to getting the next turn, then you get your power. So, And also a really neat thing about this is that no limit breaks. So it doesn't matter what, uh, how much damage you take. Because Stag Beetle doesn't actually have a limit break. No limit breaks, yeah. <laughs> well, talking about St Stag Beetle here, alright? Because <laughs> you can, effectively by fourth turn, you probably should have four damage. And even then, it doesn't it doesn't change anything even if you can't limit break with Master Beetle, because that's not the focus of your deck to stall your opponents out. Your, your idea is to focus down and deal tons of damage with this. And as a matter of fact, you can say don't have these, and actually you don't even have to have um, not open rear guards, you could effectively just do mass stag beetle into stag beetle, similarly again to a break ride, and then just get tons of, uh, get 15 more power to your ma stag beetle the turn after, and then just pulverize them. So you can get a lot of hand advantage with this deck. And I guess that's pretty much all there is to do with this deck. Any last words, Solomon? No, no, we're good. All right. Well, signing off. This is T. And we're from Team OMG Vanguard. We probably should keep telling people that. What? What? What's an OMG?